In the last video, we tried to approximate the area uh, from 0 to 2 of x squared dx. Uh, we started by finding the actual area, and all we did here is we integrated. We took this, the definite integral of x squared dx from 0 to 2, and we integrated that to be 1 third x cubed as evaluated from 0 to 2. Uh, we got a numerical value back for that, which was 8 thirds, and 8 thirds. Uh, my last video said it was 2.75. I was wrong. I have to switch that out. But anyway, it's 2.6667, otherwise known as 2 and 2 thirds. Uh, when we used the trapezoidal rule, uh, it came out to be 11 fourths or 2.75. So what we wanted to do is compare that um, to Simpson's rule. So just as a little note to ourselves here, if you don't mind, I'm going to write down here that that the trapezoidal rule, uh, we did test this with the trapezoidal rule, and the trapezoidal rule gave us 2.75. Because what we'd like to do is compare the accuracy of trapezoidal rule to the to actual to the accuracy of Simpson's rule. So here's our attempt at Simpson's rule. And if you remember that Simpson's rule uh, does this, oh, remember it's in our problem, we had n equals 4 there. So in Simpson's rule, we have b minus a over 3n. So we have here 2 minus 0, that's 2 minus 0, is 2. And then 3 times n is 4. So 3 times 4 is 12. So we have 2 over 12, which is 1 sixth. And then we set this up. And here's the really important thing to remember. It's crucial we remember this about. Simpson's rule is that it goes 1, 4, 2, 4. I know this looks like a 2 here, but it's a 1 because the coefficient out here is 1. The value inside happens to be, but it's a 1 here. Okay? So it's 1, 1 times this value, 1 times this value right here. So it's 1, 4, 2, 4, 1 is the pattern that All right, so good. So moving on, and I just went through and just here, this is the part of both of the trap, both the trapezoidal and Simpson's rule. It turns into, a <coughs> excuse me, a pain in the neck here because there's a lot of computation. I'll show you in the next video how to do this using a string on your um, on your CAS calculator. So look for that. But for now, this is doable, isn't it? Um, this is uh, one half squared, which is one fourth times. 4 is 1. Of course, this is 0 right here, isn't it? Plus, and this is just 2 here, isn't it? 3 halves squared is 9 fourths. The fourth, this 4 and the 4 that ends up down here will cancel, and that will just give you 9, won't it? And this is just 2 squared. 2 squared is 4 times 1 is 4. Right, so we get all that. And don't forget, right, don't forget that we had this piece right here, so this has to come down to here because we have our 1 sixth. Uh, if you add all of these together, we get 16 over 6, right? These add up to 16, so equals 16 over 6. And 16 over 6 is 8 thirds. Look familiar? Let me see if we can find this thing. Right. It's the actual, isn't it? Look, here's the actual right here is 8 thirds. So this is 2.6667. So as we say in class, Mr. Mr. Simpson won the contest over Mr. Trapp today as far as accuracy goes. Uh, please, especially for the AP exam, looking for the pattern. 1, 4, 2, 4, 1. Trap is a water rule. 1, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 1 at the end. We're looking for these things. In Simpson's rule, we have b minus a over 3, and think about what the rule is for the, uh, think about what it looks like for the trapezoidal rule. So, and also, if you're wondering where I got these values, 1 half, the total distance from 0 to 2 is 2. I said we we're going to break it into four pieces, so 2 divided by 4 is 1 half. So that's why this, we started at the left-hand side, then plus a half is 1 half. One, uh, one half plus a half is 1 one plus a half is three halves, and three halves plus a half is two. All right? Okay, I think we have this. Good work. Um,
The next video I'm going to do is actually I'm going to do this using the CAS calculator, so look for that.